All right, so let's look at this example uh, of vector application in Trig. Uh, I've got all, I have plenty, a bunch of these up. Check them out. Uh, they're all different. All right, so let's look at this one. A motorist exerts 150 pounds of force to keep his 3,000 pound car from rolling down a hill. Find the angle of inclination of the hill to the nearest tenth of a degree. All right, so we're going to draw a picture. So we've got a hill here. Okay. <clears throat> and we've got a car sitting on the hill and the car weighs and the car weighs 3,000 pounds okay. and the motorist exerts, a hundred, uh, exerts 150 pounds of force to keep it from rolling back down the hill so the force he's exerting is he's exerting the force up the hill that's 150 pounds and the weight and the weight of the car is 3,000 pounds. Okay, that's the weight of the car. And then we have another force. the The force of the car on the ramp is that's uh, perpendicular to the ramp. Okay, and what we're looking for is this angle alpha here. We're looking we're looking for the angle of elevation. Okay, so. What we can do this uh, this force here, well, this force here, parallel to it, that connects this force here and the weight of the car. This is also 150. Okay, they're the same. I know it probably doesn't look like it, but that's because this is not all drawn to scale. Okay, but they're the same, and that is a right angle. This is a right angle. Okay. All right. So what we're looking for is this angle here. Well, look, this triangle here and this triangle, they're similar triangles. Okay. See, th this is a right angle here also. But if if we turn this, if you if you flip this side up here and then rotate it, you, that that triangle is going to look something like this. And if you rotate it to that, and it fits right here, and this is theta. So that means this angle here is theta. This angle and this angle are equal. Okay? All right. <clears throat> so, well, we got it, don't we? Look at this. This is the angle we're looking for. And see, we've got our triangle right here. It's a right triangle. We're looking for this angle. We know the side opposite. We know the hypotenuse. Well, what's opposite and hypotenuse? Well, that's the sine of theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? So, we get theta is equal to, and then that's going to be the inverse sine of, of 150 over 3,000. And so if we do the inverse sine of 150 divided by 3,000, that gives us an angle, and I'm going to round it to one decimal place, that gives us an angle of 2.9 degrees. And look, on all these all these vector applications, I mean, once you draw this, you know, on a, you know, these vector applications with a ramp, you draw this picture, you can find anything. They may give you alpha and ask you to find this, or may ask you to find this, the weight, or may ask you to find the force that it's putting on the ramp. It's just solving a right triangle is all it is. Okay, so check out the other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.